last time when we spoke uh, you know you told about the struggle that you had to go through before entering the industry and how difficult was it for you to go from door to door to audition and then getting selected and getting replaced and then right. but your breakthrough right. was on tv ye meri life hai and i think that show is yeah. still so memorable and everybody still remembers that show because uh, yeah. in the midst of all the sars bahu series that was a breath of fresh air that uh, this girl is ambitious yes. she were wanted to be yes. a director and that yes. girl was so ambitious yes. and that was a breath of fresh air i think that's why a lot of people got glued to that show so yes. of course when you yes, saw absolutely. when you when you saw a, like success of that level from that show was it again difficult for you after seeing that success now what because now you have reached the peak what exactly happened when that show ended actually you know so many things happen it is such a such a big question you asked me nobody asked me this question before and i keep telling everybody that um when i reached that kind of success which i had no idea about before i had only dreamed about it mm-hmm. i had only wished about it but i never knew how big it's going to be you never know right. you want to be a big star you want to have name but you don't know how much name can you have you don't know when the existence is going to you know shower its abundance on you you, you don't know the capacity of it I mean, you see the kind of stardom that I have seen. The capacity was gigantic, and uh, it, to some level, it took me years to even absorb it that it is mine. And it by the time I absorbed it is mine, it was mine as a whole. Yeah, because because when I was into it, when I was a star, when I was the superstar of television or whatever you want to call it. Um, i was just so overwhelmed with everything that was happening around me um uh, overwhelmed with i was overworked i was you know every energy was overwhelming uh, whenever i performed whether it was bad scene good scene pathetic scene everybody just come and told me that how wonderful i was but right. i within from within i knew that how bad i performed in that scene but still these people are like going gaga about it and mm-hmm. i it, i had a hard time accepting that honestly i i i i thought that people lie and they lie to you because you're a star because now your time has changed and uh, i saw how people who behaved in a different way before i was a star uh, suddenly became so friendly and so nice to me and uh, suddenly started telling uh, me are hame to pata tha ye bahut badi star banegi and blah blah, blah and you know and you're like Dude, you're the one who never gave me work. Dude, you're the one who actually told people not to take me, not to cast me. So, all this was just overwhelming. I, the the success taught me a lot. I I still remember one one scenario, one scene from I went to some award function, and that time, I mean, I'm grateful that press and everybody was so kind to me and so loving to me always. Uh, everywhere I went, I got extra attention. I feel it was extra. uh and i'm grateful for that but i went to one event and um, i remember one very big superstar passing through me at one, at her time she was a superstar but i saw the press going crazy and taking photos of me and nobody even nobody even asked her anything nobody even stopped her and she just passed through me and that moment i re- i remember that woman and then she looked back and that look in her eyes told me something i it gave me a pit in my soul that this is what happens when you don't have name you know when you are a star everybody wants to take your photos and you know it's all about the stardom it's all about this fake personality that everybody portrays on on screen everybody loves the pooja nobody loves the shama i mean i mean only my loved ones love me because they know me i mean but it's difficult for them also to love me because even i i hardly knew myself i don't know who i was so you know this the whole uh realization that this could happen to me you know it it made me very very strong and curious mm. very curious to know how can i sir, how how can i just not let it affect me at all how can i become a person that it doesn't affect me at all whether i have fame or no fame whether i you know i want to act because i love acting and not because i want to be famous right. you know you know what i'm saying so before i i be, i became an actor it was my father's dream 
for me to become an actor and then i i literally uh, be, after becoming such a star and all these things that t- started to affect me and then i fell into depression and and then i just i took a break i left everything in the height of my life i just left everything everybody called me crazy and everybody told me well, why are you doing this and i just said like i need to understand life i need to understand who i am and why am i here and what is my higher purpose and and why am i being gifted this gift of being being such a wonderful actor i want to understand what is my role in in this universe other than just acting on screen you know i want to understand it in depth and i left and i took a sabbatical for 5 years in search of life and when i came back honestly um i asked this question to myself because now i was a person that knew me that loved me and that i was aware and i was me and i asked myself now what do you want to do what would you like to do if given a choice because before i didn't have a choice but now i do so uh, i i tried a few things i you know i was like should I do this should i do that would i be good in business and blah blah but this whole acting thing is just so me it just comes so naturally to me it's just such such, such a big gift if i didn't use it properly i mean it, it it i wouldn't feel right so then this thing came that i want to be an actor and i then started acting just purely for myself and that's why i was so fearless in in taking up very bold projects and i was, I was so fearless because i didn't care what people will judge and how they would i all i wanted to do is just give my 100% to what i was doing and bring some um do do projects which which sort of change which can broaden our horizon as human beings and and you know it can give us some kind of idea about there are other worlds and other people or the kind of things that exist in the world which we have no idea about and we must be open to that so so yeah, yeah that that's that's the that's the case 